many killed as Ifa Nyoba's convoy attacked by gunmen in Anambra. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 12th of September 2022 and there is something just happened yesterday in Anambra State and of course it worth bringing to your notice. In case you have not seen the video with very ugly and gory images that have already circulated all over the social media, I will play you that video later on during this very broadcast that I'm making. But first of all, I want us to read the report, how it has been reported, how the incident took place yesterday. Senator Ifa Nyoba's convoy attacked by gunmen in Anambra aids police escort feared killed. A source, however, told the reporters that no fewer than five policemen were killed during the attack. Some gunmen on Sunday attacked the convoy of Senator Ifa Nyoba in Enuguku community in the Njikoka local government area of Anambra state. Details of the tragic incident were still sketchy as at the time of filing this report, but newsmen learned that some of his aides and police escort were killed while some were injured. The condition of the Oba could not be ascertained at the time of filing this report. Remember, this report was filed very late at night, but based on the information we have, Oba is at the safe hand, is in a safe place. Actually, he is okay because he was actually in a bulletproof jeep. That is the reason why the government were unable to get him. And according to the information, although we cannot authoritatively confirm this the group of government that attacked the senator, but based on our own preliminary investigation we can uh, we can say we can say that the attackers were the talks of his opposition or should i say opponent who want to overtake him in the next year general election a source however told newsmen that no fewer than five policemen were killed during the attack some gunmen opened fire on vehicles and there was a shootout between the gunmen and the policemen in the convoy. I believe no fewer than five policemen were killed. A source in the National Assembly also confirmed the incident saying he, he Oba, truly only escaped because of the bulletproof car. They killed his aides and police escort but number of casualties is still unknown. The gunmen were many and were shooting from both sides of the car. The state police public relations officer, Tochuku Ikenga, confirmed the incident but could also not confirm the number of casualties. He said the state police commissioner, C.P. Echenge Cheng, had led, operative, had led operatives to the scene. So this is exactly what happened yesterday when the convoy of Ifa Nyoba was attacked and we cannot, like as I said before, authoritatively confirm the group of gunmen who carried out this attack. But we can say, based on our early investigation, that the attack, or should I say the attackers, were the thugs working for his opponent or opposition who wants to take over the senatorial uh, seat come next year 2023 so let me quickly play the video although i will not show the full video i will try to you know cover some part because of the gory image which of course will never be allowed on our platform so watch the video don't go nowhere because we still have more in the kitchen I'm 
Hey! 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 So that is what we saw in the evening yesterday how the convoy of Ifa Nyoba was attacked by gunmen so i want to give you my own thought over this first of all i have no problem with ifa nyoba and i don't wish him dead so instead of attacking ifa nyoba why do you know why i told you that our preliminary investigation proved that it, the attackers were working for opposition who want to take over the senatorial seat come 2023 is because since Ifa Nyoba's political journey he has not been the enemy of the people even though we never wanted the governorship election to be uh, you know to 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 hold in the year 2021 that brought this mother mother Soludo. we never wanted any one of them we never wanted the political you know uh, 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 process under the zoo constitution in biafra land that's why it looked like all of them we are enemies but if anyoba is not my enemy so i am not in support of the attack against him so that is the reason why when based on our investigation i strongly believe that this attack was carried out by the enemies his own enemies who want to take him out in order to occupy the senatorial seat come 2023 20, because ifa is not an enemy of the Igbo people so there are only there is only one situation here which is the his own enemies wants him dead wants him out of the way because they see him as a threat to that seat that they want to occupy in 2023 there are other people to be attacked and to even to send to judgment people like Oju Zokalo, people like uh, you know Rochas, uh, not Rochas, these um, Hopus or then Jaw, and they salute them. These people are supposed to be taken away. The likes of Devil Mai. What is Devil Mai still doing on this earth up till now? The likes of Okezi Bazo that brought in Operation Python down, Zoo Janjaweed. them. What are these people doing up to this moment? Yes, because these are people who brought in the Zoo Janjaweed in khaki uniform to slaughter our people. Oju Zokalu gave Lord Banta for free to the Fulani and today they are terror to our people. And he's still gallivanting everywhere, talking rubbish. The other day he said he's going to end ESN. He said he's going to meet the pres Mr. President to bring in machineries to comb the bushes in Abia State. <laughs> and this same man is still walking up and down. These are the people when you take them to judgment, when you send them to judgment, the people rejoice because they have brought pain upon our people. They have caused 
more a, a lot of damages against our people we don't need them in our land so these are the reason why we have come to believe that actually the attackers were thugs working for the opposition we may not mention the name of the opposition right now but if we conclude our uh, investigation i said our inv not police investigation because we don't believe in any investigation from nigerian police so when we conclude our own investigation if need be we will still give you the name of those who plan the attack who want to take ifan yoba out in order to take over the seat come 2023 so that is it my people thank you for listening share this very news and make it go viral